All right, Red Ribbon Week is going on right now, and it's an entire week dedicated to a drug-free, healthy lifestyle. Yeah, it actually starts today on a Wednesday and goes through October 31st. And one Houston organization plays a pivotal role by offering resources and mental health support to our community. We are joined this morning by Joffrey Ball with the Substance Use Disorder Outreach Program at the Harris Center. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. We're doing great. Thank you so so much for coming in. Can you mm -hmm. tell us what specific programs or services? services that the Harris Center offers. Well, for this. youth, we offer a variety of behavior health programs. We have the children and adolescents program services. We have the community unit probation services for youth. We also have the Northeast Youth and Wellness Center. And we also have SUDOP, which is the Substance Use Disorder Outreach Program, and we service 14 and up. Oh, wow. So right before we started this segment, I was kind of asking you, you know, like, are kids really your target? Is Red Ribbon Week going to help them out? What, what do you say? I say yes, because it gives them the opportunity to see people like us stating, hey, prevention is key. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you actually see that and they get the weather red ribbons and they love little trinkets and swag is what we call them. Yeah. And when they put those things on, it gives them the opportunity to create a movement amongst their peers and say, hey, this is what I'm against. Yeah. All, all these years later, they still like it, huh? Oh, they love it. <laughs> I can remember doing Red Ribbon Week when I was in school. Really? Yes. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's very great. We just partnered with the DEA just this past Friday, had Red Ribbon Week with over 600 kids from HISD, uh -huh. and it was beautiful. They got to sit down and go into City Hall and be able to vote and do different things, and it stays with them, just like you said, right. for life. Like that, uh, you remember that, all yeah. the crazy yeah. dress-up days that go along with Red yes. Ribbon Week, at least yeah. in my kids' schools. So, I mean, I, I'm going to ask you this. I mean, when it comes to kids, I mean, we see mm -hmm. they're participating in having Red Ribbon Week all the way from elementary up to high school. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the most sort of pivotal, most important time to sort of get these messages to kids? I mean, by high school, is it a little late? I wouldn't say late. High school is still good because they're actually... You know, you're transferring from your youth to puberty and your mind is still developing and getting to that point to where you're trying to find acceptance within yourself. Mm -hmm. But as a youth, you, you have that foundation. You're, you're being molded. So when you have that, that foundation, it, it goes with you for the rest of your life because it's been embedded into your the rest of your psyche that actually is developing throughout your high school years. Mm -hmm. and we've had this conversation before, too, that kids in Houston are being exposed to drug use within their mm -hmm. own home. Correct. So at least giving them this week and showing them that that's that's not normal that not all adults live their life like this that's that's got to be influential to them as well yes and you know coming home with the red ribbons the kids or and vice versa the parents whomever's wearing the ribbon that creates a conversation when you mm -hmm. create that conversation open dialogues allows you to understand what's going on with the kids and what's affecting them and the more you do that have that conversation at least once a week when you have that conversation once a week Kids op become trusting, they open up, they develop conversation with you, and once they do that, you know how to treat whatever's going on with them. Yeah, what are some of the challenges that, that you guys are seeing at the Harris Center with, with youth, with your work with youth and, and drugs? It's the same as everyone. You, peer pressure, stigma, um, fear, but most of all euphoria. Because as you're developing, euphoria and dopamine levels are all adjusting, right? Mm -hmm. And as that is adjusting and you get something that comes into your system that shoots that up by a thousand percent, then the kids are like, it's, it's like sugar to them. It's like candy, right? It, they like, oh, that's good. That's fun. And how do you combat that? Yeah. So we at the Harrison, we have doctors, we have clinicians, we have peers that actually understand how to combat all these elements. Can you give resources to parents who are maybe concerned, like if they know that a child is experimenting or doing more with drugs, can they come to you as a resource? Oh, definitely. Call 713-970-7000 for more information. If you need treatment, suit up. If it's 14 and up, call us, 713-970-7000. We also at 9401 Southwest Freeway on the fourth floor, we have an adolescent center. Come Your neighbors by. to us at KPRC. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. right next door. Yeah, and then one last question. When we first said, um, what resources do you offer? You started talking about mental health mm -hmm. um, resources. So how big of an impact does mental health play in substance use prevention? If we're not mentally healthy, then we're not healthy at all. It start, everything starts in the mind, right? So as you understand that, those conversations of understanding how your child thinks, how your child is operating, how your child is developing throughout life, gives you that opportunity to help them to understand that once you start using drugs, that is actually a mental health issue. 
Mm. We want to combat that before it becomes a disorder. Got Good it. point. Mm -hmm. Good point. Jeffrey Ball, always great to have you here Thank and you. great to hear from you. I, I like that you're doing work with the youth. You can just tell, Love you know, it. they need to see a big, strong guy preaching these, this message. We, we actually going out, um, what's that, next Monday to the Harris County Department of Education, Fortis Academy Recovery High School. Uh -huh. And we're going to have a rally there as well. Fantastic. Excellent. Thank All you. All right. For your well, work. thanks for coming in here first Thank then. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <All right. laughs>